Tecumseh's movement, or otherwise known as the Tecumseh's Rebellion, had tried to stop the expansion of the American country, which was very impactful and harsh in most of the Revolutionary War. Even though the Indians did not completely stop the American nation to spread into a larger, more powerful country, the Native Americans did start a new revolution of their own, which had frightened and startled some of the American citizens, especially since the British had parted with the Native Americans in winning parts of the U.S. Without Tecumseh's leadership in forming the alliance and unity between the Indian nations, they would have failed miserably and without effort needed to help their people. Tecumseh, Tecumseh means in our culture and our belief at nights when we see a fallen star, it means that uh, this panther is jumping from one mountain to another. And as kids, we, you know, we saw these fallen stars. We, we kind of hesitated about being out in the dark because we thought they were actually panthers out there walking around. So that's what his name meant. Tecumseh. Tecumseh's name had meant a shooting star or a panther in some cases. He was born in March of 1768. Tecumseh was born into a family of warriors. He had shown a lot of bravery and courageousness throughout his life. In 1779, at 11 years old, Tecumseh and his tribe had moved south from what is now Ohio to larger tribes. He joined the Shawnee when he was 15 years old. Early on, they had been forced to sign the Treaty of Greenville because of the loss of the Battle of the Fallen Timbers. However, Tecumseh protested during the treaty and almost caused his death. They had lost many things they valued, like hunting lands, which just grew America even more. Later on his life, Tecumseh had become the chief of the Shawnee. Tecumseh had been involved in the Revolutionary War and was very important to the Shawnee and other tribes because of his outstanding actions towards others. Tecumseh had shown a lot of leadership by working toward a large plan to combine and unite the Indian tribes and colonies just west of the American nation to later ambush America alongside with the British. However, the British did not prove worthy of a loyal companion and soon abandoned the Native Americans without the support they needed. Without Tecumseh's leadership, the Shawnee wouldn't have started the rebellion and started a new war against a greater threat to both the British and other countries. They would have been wiped out fast from the expansion and the relentless power the American nation had. His brother Tenskawata was also part of the great movement of the Native Americans war which Tecumseh had started against America. The Indian nations did not have the upper hand most of the war and battled between America because of numbers and equipment, but with more and more Native Americans on board with Tecumseh, the better the chances were of winning became. Tenskoata and Tecumseh journeyed outward west of the Mississippi for other Native American tribes to join their own kind of army. Tenskoata was known as a spiritual leader with the Shawnee and several other tribes in Ohio. He and Tecumseh were both worried about the future and American immigration onto their land. So to help resolve the issue, Tenskawata had made a plan to stop doing what they had once learned from white people. That meant to stop using and buying goods from the Americans because the Native Americans had no quarrel with the white people. The British did not part in this because the British were fighting their own battles. Tecumseh was locating more people, specifically Indians, to meet at a place called Provincetown, Ohio, to form an attack when William Henry Harrison, a former governor, had decided to ambush the natives. Tecumseh was not there when William's army showed up. Even though Tecumseh told Tenskawata not to meet the American forces in battle, Tenskawata sent his army of new recruits untrained and undisciplined out to fight the American soldiers, eventually losing the battle. States. It's a crucial resource. Land is the basis of the new nation. Land is the opportunity to create what Jefferson comes to call an empire of liberty. But you have to get that land from Indian people. 
Tecumseh's alliance with the British was very loose because the Native Americans had wanted something completely different than the British who wanted to control and bring order and the American nations back to being colonies which had happened around the, the time when Tecumseh had started his rebellion. Tecumseh had wanted to either suppress the American expansion or completely stop the Americans from growing anywhere west. Tecumseh had impacted the war because he had done everything in his power to stop growing of America for his people to have safety and freedom. This impact affected the Americans because of the massive amounts of ambushes and casualties from both sides. Nearing the end of the Revolutionary War, years passed with no change or sign of the American nation from expanding west. Tecumseh had died in the Battle of Thames on November 13, 1813. And I, I think today, what would have happened if he had succeeded in, you know, his plan? It would have changed history. A self-proclaimed chief who stood up and said, hey, this is enough. That this was a, a struggle that was a, of greater magnitude. Tecumseh was a very important figure in American history because of his involvement and action in the Revolutionary War for the Indians. He had taken a stand against American expansion westward and the poor treatment on them. Tecumseh had an ego of courage, bravery, and mostly helping other tribes and his people. Tecumseh had left a legacy that shows that you should stand for what you think is right, even if it isn't the right thing. Tecumseh's legacy is important to the Americans because America had also been a part of the Indians' rebellion. Hope and freedom. That's, that's what I thought he stood It is his vision that he had, you know, the way he looked into the future and tried to stop progress for, for the red, the red people. For some people, they may have called him a troublemaker, and I think that's because in the end, he lost. Had he won, he'd been, you know, a hero, but I think to a degree he still has to be recognized as a hero for what he attempted to do. If he had, you know, a little more help, maybe he would have got a little farther down the line. If, if the British would have backed him up like they were supposed to have, you know, maybe the United States is only half as big as it is today. Tecumseh was a very important figure in American history because of his involvement and action in the Revolutionary War with his people. He had taken a stand against American expansion westward for the protection of mostly his tribe and others because of his passion to stop America's westward progress. Tecumseh had an ego of courage, bravery, and mostly helping other tribes and his people. Tecumseh left a legacy that showed that you should stand for what you think is right, even if it isn't the right thing. Tecumseh's legacy is important to the Americans' history because Tecumseh was a major part of the Revolutionary War since the Native Americans led by Tecumseh were forming another threat to the American nation.